All right, hey friends, just the tip Tuesday here with the lovely Parisa. And we're gonna talk about chair because chair sucks. So, um, so talk about your experience in chair. It's so serious. Every time I go into chair, I just don't like it, first off. I feel like my arms get tired very quickly up out front. I don't know whether to tuck my, to put, pull my butt really far in or to kind of push it out. Don't really know what to do with this whole middle. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where I land. I don't like my feet together. I do a little foot, of, a kind of a partish. Yeah. Okay. So, sh so show us your ch your chair as you know it right now. Okay. So I can lift my lift my little toes up. Little toes, please. Where do you feel that right now? Here and in my low back. Okay. Great. Go ahead and stand up. All right. So this is called chair pose. Utkatasana, which actually doesn't translate to chair, it translates to awkward pose. Great. Uh, or some people call the translation fierce. So it's either fierce or awkward, which I think most people I know that are super fierce started out super awkward. <laughs> so, I think it's both of us. So I think it's probably accurate. So now just sit down in the chair and stand back up. Okay, and stand back up. Good. Go ahead and sit in the chair and stay there. And put your arms overhead like chair pose. And where do you feel that? Um, it's still in my back. In your, but in your, a little, little higher. A little bit higher. Okay, good. So um, you can stay seated in the chair. So part of the function of the arms in chair, again, light on yoga um, basis, is uh, you'll hear the cue a lot of like drop your shoulders but keep your arms up. So one of the one of the functions of the shoulder girdle is to help us elevate our scapula and raise our arms up. Now, a lot of smart yoga teachers in the West, because we know that people sit like this all day, have started to use the cue, drop your shoulders down your back, because we have overdeveloped traps in the West because of our typing habit. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't still exercise those muscles. So, um, a lot of people will hold their arms like narrow, and maybe their arms aren't strong enough for that, or they're holding their arms overhead, but they're trying to keep their shoulder down. But if you reach for something, so there was a shelf over here. Would you reach? Would you like pick your arm up and be like, keep my arm, keep my shoulder, keep it down? My yoga teacher told me, no, you wouldn't do that. You would, you would lift your whole fucking shoulder girdle. So, um, so that's a first thing. So when you hold your arms up, take your arms up, and then let your shoulders come to your ears. Better, worse, indifferent. Say indifferent. Okay, perfect. So I want you to just through classes check back with me. Maybe we'll do a follow up report. This is the first thing. Um, as you come out of the chair now, so do you like feet hip width distance? By mm -hmm. the way, there are no yoga police coming after you. Some people have anatomy that lets their legs come into the more like uh, midline position. Some people it's more comfortable hip distance. Both are okay. So for you, hip width distance, but slide your heel into the inner arch of your foot and then slide it back out. So you're a little bit, you're a little more narrow than you thought you were for what is hip mm -hmm. width distance. Um, so, with your feet like that, take your arms overhead, elevate your scapula, and then come out of the chair only as much to come into chair pose. Okay, and do you still feel at the same place? Low back? No, mostly in my legs now. Awesome. Okay, so go ahead and stand up. So I think what changed is one, the tailbone. So a lot of people will hear, your instructor will say, tuck your tailbone. Well, tucking your tailbone brings you into a flexed spine and if you ever do weightlifting and if you were to pick something up with a fully flexed spine mm -hmm. unless you're a power lifter and then just turn the video off you won't like what I have to say you're gonna the chances of you hurting your back are exponentially higher if you pick something up with a flex back so what we want is a neutral spine the other thing you'll hear is people saying like stick your tailbone back mm -hmm. neither are necessarily true so to everybody that's watching take your hands to your pelvis and really send your ass back. This is extension of the spine. And then tuck your tail under. This is flexion. We want the middle ground. So find that place where it's neither. Okay, then reach your arms overhead. Elevate your scapula. Start to sit down, keeping that neutral spine. Same, different. Well, I always kind of, I put your butt I pop my butt a little at the bottom. And do you feel your low back mm -hmm. when you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want you to brace your core like someone's gonna punch you. Take your arms overhead and only go as far as you can with a neutral pelvis. There it is. And do 
you feel your legs or your low back? Well, still my back. Your okay. back. Okay, so send your tailbone slightly more the other way. Okay, there. Yes. Do you feel it in your legs? Mm -hmm. So nice. That's a beautiful chair. So if you have, a, if you're someone who this is called an anterior tilt when you when you have like a sway in your back. First of all, most women have it because culturally we've been told that looks better. So a lot of women stand like this. If you have, which I mean, actually it does look great. Um, also, if you have babies, like I have, I have the children. She's a pediatrician, so she has the children with her all the time. When you hold babies, the natural tendency is to like pop a hip or stick your ass out, so you just structurally redistribute the weight. So for many women, not always, but often. For many women, that anterior tilt is a natural cultural adaptation. And so for you, chair, you're gonna to wanna to go slightly the other way so that you can actually access your leg muscles. If that doesn't work for you, try the opposite. So maybe you're someone who stands with a posterior tilt, that's that flexion of the spine, and you might slightly exaggerate your tail back so that we come to neutral eventually. Got it. Learn some things. Learn some awesome things, thank you. If you turned it off because you're a power lifter. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Bye.